Hi, welcome back to our Who Are EHOs video series. Today, I'm speaking to one of our EHA national board members, Glenis, who's an EHO in Tasmania. So where are you working and what's your role? My job title is EHO. So I've done all my EHO work with La Trobe Council on the northwest coast of Tassie. Why do you think environmental health is important? For, for a lot of people, they don't know about EHOs until something goes wrong. So while the food that they're eating is safe, it's not made, making them sick, while the water they're drinking is not making them sick, they're, while they have had immunisations that are protecting them from, from different illnesses, while they can get a tattoo at a tattoo parlour that, that's not going to make them sick, they don't know about EHOs. But once they have something that goes wrong, um, their septic tank fails or their water's contaminated, then they need to, to talk to an EHO. So I guess we, we remain in the background until, until we need it and we just get on with our work until there's a problem. Describe a typical working week. Lots of variety. Um, so it could be um, re doing reports, you know, paperwork, things like that in the, in the office, or it could be actually getting out and about doing investigations on complaints. Um, food business inspections, follow-up inspections for uh, complaints about food businesses. Um, it could be doing inspections for on-site wastewater, so septic tanks. It could be water sampling, so during the summer months going out and taking samples from the beach. Um, it might include some different meetings, um, working on policies and procedures for council. So there's a whole range of different things that I could be doing actually in the office and out of the office. Um, so yeah, big variety of things. What do you love most about being an EHO? The diversity, um, I really love that. But I particularly enjoy doing immunisations. So I enjoy that, that side of, of the job going into the school, doing immunisations. Um, and I really love on-site wastewater, so um, working out the best, you know, going through the um, reports and, and finding um, how, what's the best way for a particular kind of different or difficult block. So, um, you know, there might be really poor soil, it might be small. So, yeah, the, the challenge of, of working out the best, best thing for that particular site. Um, so the things that you wouldn't normally like, I really enjoy. What are some of the challenges you face? Um, so dealing with a particular difficult nuisance complaint can be really difficult because, you know, there's, there's always two sides to the story and being able to come and get middle ground can be particularly difficult sometimes. Um, and, yeah, trying to, to come to an agreement between two parties can be quite challenging. What's one of your proudest moments? Certainly, um, you know, you get a great sense of achievement, achievement when you see, for instance, a new food business that you've been involved from the, with from the start and that's already at SMIC and, and you've got this lovely new place to go and eat, um, that you know that you've had quite a, a significant input into those kind of things. Always you think, oh, wow, yeah, I put my stamp on that and, and I helped her to get that to a compliant but, but really nice place for people to go. That, that's definitely a proud moment, but I guess dealing with um, particular complex issues within council that, that you know, I might not have had the lead role in, but I've certainly been able to uh, help out with during the, the pandemic. Um, while we haven't, while council have had a, haven't had a huge role, we've definitely been there and helped our community. So um, I guess being part of a group that's, that's helped our community, I certainly feel really proud about that. What are some projects you've been involved with? La Trobe had quite significant floods back in 2016. So as an EHO, I had quite a, um, quite a big role from an EHO perspective, but also as a social recovery um, deputy. So, you know, being involved with the community, helping them get back on their feet and finding ways to, to, um, to get things sorted. So, yeah, definitely really proud after that too. What advice would you give to someone wanting to become an EHO? I would, couldn't more highly recommend um, doing environmental health. I think 
um, for a whole range of different reasons. Um, you know, if, if you enjoy dealing with the public, um, if you have an interest in, in science, um, I highly recommend it. If you're thinking about it, yeah, go and chat to someone at local council about being an EHO, you know, find out as much as you can. But yeah, couldn't more highly recommend um, being an EHO. I love it. Thank you for joining us today, Glennis. Thank you very much for your time today. To see more videos in this series, don't forget to subscribe to the EHA YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.